Hello dear students, uh, today we will learn about uh, the structure elements creation and its uh, material uh, assigning to these structures in Plaxis 3D. We will continue our previous tutorial uh, that was creating the soil, borehole and uh, column material for column, for beams, for basement wall and for basement floor. Now uh, we will create the basement wall, floor and beams columns in this project. So first of all we have to shift to the structure mode. We are now shifted to the structure mode. First we will create a surface create a surface that is first point second point third point and fourth point now we will enter the uh, um, coordinates for uh, the building the, our building is 36 meter by 36 meters so I want my origin to be in the center of the building that's why I am dividing the 36 meter by half and entering the coordinates to the surface points so our first point is in negative 18 and negative 18 our second point is negative 18 in x direction and in y direction it is positive 18 our third point is positive 18 in x direction positive 18 in y direction our third point is positive 18 in x direction and uh, negative 18 in y direction so okay now our surface is created now for better understanding we will uh, extrude this surface in negative z direction that is we will select this surface and click on the extrude extrude object and we will enter as the thickness for the foundation and uh, the depth for the basement or foundation is minus 2 meter apply we will derate the surface we created for the alignment of the uh, foundation so now this is the volume element now after that uh, we will decompose into surfaces we will delete the top surface we will delete the volume element and now our basement wall and um, basement floor uh, are uh, here you can see that these are the basement wall and these are the this is the basement floor so after that we are uh, we have been uh, uh, created uh, the material for the basement floor and basement wall so we'll select the basement floor and ra right click on here so we will uh, create we'll create a plate so our plate is created now set material as uh, basement floor so the color is uh, change now it's uh, we it's identify that the material are assigned successfully to the basement floor now we will select we will select the basement floor uh, basement wall sorry uh, and we will create plate and for that plate we will assign the material as basement wall and now so you are uh, seeing that the color has been changed uh, so it, it's identified that the color the material are assigned successfully now after that we will create beams and columns first we will create beams so line element here uh, create beam so we will click here this and this now for this we will uh, give them coordinates so our beam is actually in board direction in uh, x direction and y direction as well and the spacing between the beam uh, is uh, 12 meter so uh, according to that I am giving the uh, coordinates to the point so the first point uh, the coordinate for the first point I will select the beam so you can uh, uh, you don't don't be con confused by this 
if i select the point so i uh, the point is uh, uh, the select point is showing in the uh, selection explorer if i uh, click on beam so both points are uh, uh, here uh, present now i will enter the coordinate to the this point so our beam is uh, negative six meter from origin and uh, in y direction it is negative 18 and it is minus 2 so okay now second point second point is uh, in x direction it is uh, minus 6 meter and in y direction uh, it is 18 and in z direction it is minus 2 now our beam is here now we will click on this beam either you can uh, create another beam by clicking uh, this create line and clicking the coordinate and then uh, clicking on here any other uh, pa uh, place in the project or boundary condition and then after that you assign them a coordinate so i want to create its copy uh, which will be easy for me so i will select this beam and create array now uh, in which direction i want to create the copy of this beam so in x direction basically i want to create this beam so in x direction yes in x direction and in x direction i will uh, enter the spacing that uh, in so i will introduce 12 meter in positive direction yes so that this is our second beam now we will create uh, or third uh, uh, the beam in uh, these are beam parallel to the y direction now I'll create the beam parallel to the x direction so I'll click here is this and this and I will enter the uh, points XYZ coordinates to the uh, points uh, so the selected the point is selected so now i will enter the uh, coordinates so this point is actually uh, in y direction it is uh, six meter and in z direction x direction it is minus 18 meter and in z direction it is minus two now our second point is in x direction it is 18 in y direction uh, it is 6 and in z direction it is negative of 2 yes or we must create it now uh, when we want to copy this beam in this direction in negative y direction so we will create array in y direction and we'll enter as minus 12 now our beam is beams horizontal and vertical beams are created these are our beams now we will create uh, we will create uh, or assign first we will assign the materials to the beams so we'll select all these beams and create beam and set material as column no beam so the color has been changed uh, so the material is successfully assigned to the beams now we will create the columns so uh, we will select this and we will select the beam create beam and we will enter here and here two points now we want the to enter the coordinates for this column so our first point is 8 z minus 2 and it is in negative x direction negative 6 and it is in y direction it is in positive 6 so okay now second point is 8 0 is it is a vertical column now in x direction it is mm, negative 6 in y direction it is Six. Okay. Now, 
now our column is created now we will select this column and we will create an array in which direction in both direction x y plane and we will enter in x it, it uh, should be 12 uh, and in y it should be minus 12 and we will click ok yes so our columns are created now we will select this column this column this column by holding the control with the uh, clicking now we will assign material a is column hence our material are assigned and our structure has been made so this is the structure so we made the structure basement wall now we will mesh this means divide this into a finite element uh, so we will select control all control all and we will select generate mesh uh, I want to, to be in course so course mesh okay now our meshing is generating yes it is generated so here you can see that our whole model is divided into 2814 and 4809 nodes so for today or for this tutorial uh, it is enough we will discuss the further stage construction and load application uh, load application in uh, in uh, an isolated video or isolated tutorial for load application and after that I will make this video for video tutorial for uh, stage construction and analysis thank you kindly like the video and uh, subscribe the channel